you know, sometimes we'll have families that will come to us or individuals affected with bladder atrophy and say, what is the risk of me transferring this condition to my children? And um, we don't fully understand the pattern of inheritance of bladder atrophy. We know it's not typical Mendelian, which means it's not directly transmitted from parent to child. Um, it is a sporadic event, um, happens in about one in 30,000 pregnancies. And we know that the only known risk factor right now is consanguinity, which is marrying within closely uh, close relatives. And um, other than that, there is really no identified risk factor. There are a number of studies looking at the underlying genetics of bladder extrophy, but they to date have not shed any real risk factors. So uh, we have families who've had one child with bladder extrophy and have gone on to have other healthy children. We have a couple, both the husband and wife both had bladder extrophy and they have had a normal healthy baby. So all of these um, concerns are very appropriate, but we want to reassure you that the passing on this condition to offspring is very, very, very rare.